What exactly is uh, one of the things that publicly you think that people got wrong? You're saying that there's all these stories oh, that people God. got wrong. Oh, God. Well, you know me. You've known me for a long time. And you've known a little bit about some of the of the drama and different relationships. Um, one of the most important things I never really publicly addressed in a major way was the relationship with Tyga and the Kardashian situation and how all that got spinned and turned around. And there was a lot of mistruths. Um, that became a huge story it because was outrageous. all what of was a sudden mistruth? Yeah. you get involved. So that, for those that don't, like the public story Yes. was, and this is very brief, that you were, that Tyga was cheating on Kylie Jenner, right? Mm -hmm. With you. Yes, and he was. And he w well. There you go. Today right. I said it. And and then they whatever, <laughs> and then it became a social media thing. And but all that this really stuff. wasn't the whole subject of the situation. Someone was impersonating me on Instagram. They made like twenty different Instagram accounts, and they were threatening to release some sex tape, which doesn't exist to my knowledge because mm -hmm. we never shot a sex tape, at least not aware of such a thing. And someone was threatening to like extort, to, you know, release this sex tape. They didn't give this money. Um, it was psycho. It was insane. The world was like coming at me so hard uh, And I never addressed it because I didn't want to like make any wrong decisions say the wrong things um, I really just wanted to protect him in every way that I but could. But are you let me ask you are, did you out him? No, okay, because I'm saying people the people, Some, people have as said far you, as, you as, his lawyers, as, for, as far as his lawyers were concerned and what they told me uh, whether they were working with my lawyers and by the way, I was under uh, strict Settlement negotiation agreement or uh, negotiation situation the entire time. Settlement for? They were trying to buy me into confidentiality. Okay. And I wouldn't agree to anything. I didn't want any money from him. I just wanted him to tell the truth so I could move forward with my life. Let me ask you, when you say you wanted him to tell the truth, you wanted him to admit that you guys were together? He didn't even have to admit that. I, I gave him a written statement and everything that he could have just did a joint statement saying that we were just friends. People just made up this salacious story and, you know, st standing up for, you know, trans rights, simply saying, uh, you shouldn't discriminate against my friend because we're friends, blah, blah, blah. I made it easy for him. But apparently he had already lied and said he didn't know me. Uh, to whoever he was dealing with, but his attorneys and my attorneys know the truth But you didn't out him. No, I didn't as far as his attorneys said to me that his phone was hacked and the messages They told the public the messages were not real his penis pictures were real because those were released mm -hmm. But that his phone was hacked and they were trying to figure out who the hacker was so I never outed anyone Wait his phone was hacked. I don't know what you mean They said that the, the messages weren't real that someone oh. took the someone took either that he was hacked and someone took the the nude pictures of him um, and release them or that someone that he was seeing that wasn't me released the like one of the fake of accounts him. or whatever No, not the fake accounts one of someone else that he had dealt with before Jesus. me like a, oh, like I a see. normal genetic girl I see that he had sent in confidence these pictures um, Had released them or something of the sort. Why is there so much embarrassment about it for, from these guys? Well, the world well, did humiliate him the world was was attacking him So I did understand at the time and I was trying my best to be as cool as possible about it and and be really protective of But him. they didn't humiliate him like why not just say like yeah, this is who I am and this if you get caught well, cheating, I get getting caught cheating stinks No one I've gotten true. caught. It's embarrassing. And but it's I got caught too though You were in a relationship. I was in a relationship, so it was embarrassing uh. for me and my person was High profile more so than him. So that's another reason why I stayed quiet. Right. Whereas you are mm. sitting there going like this becomes a story, it becomes a public thing. And when it becomes a public thing, not by your doing, yeah. you start getting lied about. It was so you've got no other option than to come forward and say, No, 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 all right, fine. Here's the story. I wasn't gonna say it. Here's the story. Even a year later. <clears throat> Every time I turn around, there's like Google alerts and there's all kinds of people putting out articles like even a year later when I'm not doing anything Right. No press for it. Not discussing it whatsoever. It's constantly. I'm constantly being tagged and dragged and stuff So it's like it's like okay, but it has raised your I'm profile on some level You have to like it because it's like it's not it's not they're not saying you're a well, shitty how person did it benefit me at all when you become financially destroyed me uh, Personal relationships the person that I was actually in love with I had to walk away from why because I didn't want that happen to him I didn't want him to be publicly shamed like that. I didn't want him to experience what that felt like for the other person. But why public shaming if the person is open about, meaning if you're dating someone and you're dating that person and all of a sudden, hey, you both like each other and you're dating, where's the shame in it? I get it. When you have a major contract, when you have endorsements, when you have other things going on in life, I am understanding to the idea that so society has not completely uh, right, yeah. accepted us. you got to so protect I'm very, a brand. I'm yeah, very, yeah, I'm very okay. understanding. To those things you know what I mean I definitely took those things into consideration um, and it wasn't that we were particularly cheating 
we had been seeing each other for a few years. But I believe during the time that he had started dating this girl, and he didn't tell me anything about her. Um, You're talking about Tiger right now? Yeah. yeah. Um, we had at least spent a couple of times together during the time. Depending on when they started dating. Right. I was seeing him since 2013. Mm -hmm. Until right before all this stuff happened. Yeah. And then I found out. So How'd course, you meet? How we meet? He contacted me through one of his friends when I went to one of the concerts and asked to see me. It's amazing how often that happens, and that's the way it happens. And then, like, see, that's a different message. I just took like, wow, it must be cool to be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you just start rhyming words in your head, going, maybe I can make a career out of this. Yeah, but I wasn't to... angry at him. You know what I mean? Like he, uh, I wasn't angry at him. I didn't feel like uh, he was a bad guy. I still don't. Mm -hmm. People just mishandled the situation. A lot of people didn't know the truth. So whoever were doing their job for him obviously didn't know any of the true details of the situation. So they just thought, someone's bucking with him. Let's take her down. Yeah. So I, And I tried to understand that. But then at the same time, I have your lawyer and my lawyer discussing things every single day for a month or more. And you're telling me to be quiet. Who mentioned it first? Who mentioned what? The whole thing. The whole situation? I yeah. have no idea. It was released to, uh, the text messages and pictures were released to someone. And it ended up in somebody's blogs and articles. And it just spread like wildfire. I woke up to my Instagram Literally blowing up. That's how I found out. So, oh, so you didn't release the text messages? No, it's still it's to say there's. I have, I have asked them to say that publicly numerous times. They knew that I did not release anything. There's, uh, there's no proof and no such thing because it didn't happen from me. They were saying that his phone was hacked or someone else released the stuff. So how the hell did I release anything? By that mm. basic truth and statement that his attorney said it was sent from someone else. That nude picture. If that's the case. From my text messages, how the hell did I release them? If you're saying that I didn't do it off the top. But they didn't make it a big deal. They kind of just threw that, in, that tidbit in really quickly. And you'd have to imagine, like, if they knew that you released it, you would have been sued like crazy by now, right? Uh, of course. Yeah. The fact that you haven't been is probably the most... They didn't... There weren't... There's nothing they could have done to me. Right, right. Who